challenge is to create two different cookies showing how Christmas might have been celebrated in prehistoric times. What? That's crazy. Holiday baking like you've never seen before. Some of the nation's most creative bakers putting their skills to the test in Food Network's upcoming Christmas cookie challenge. And get this, one of the competitors right here in our area, she's joining us live on this Friday, Jerry Ann Bone. Good morning. Happy Friday. How are you? Great, how are you? We're doing fantastic. Thanks for joining us. All right, before we get into the competition, where are you representing, Jerry Ann? Where are you from? Where's your bakery and where's it located? Yeah, I live um, in Friday Harbor in the San Juan Islands, and my bakery is called Dripless Cookies. Um, it's a certified home bakery um, under a cottage food license. Okay, well, there you go. All right, represent Friday Harbor. We love that. So let's get into the competition here, Jerry Ann. Describe what the competitors have to do on the show, what you're competing for, and for, by goodness, are you, are you nervous when you go on the shows like this? <laughs> I would be so nervous. <laughs> yeah, so there are, it's myself and four other competitors um, on one episode, and we have two rounds. The first round, we have to make four cookies with two different designs using one dough, and then two bakers get sent home after the first round and then the third or second round we have the remaining three bakers and we have to make a 3d cookie um, and the last person who who wins gets ten thousand dollars oh nice I, I believe we're looking at some of your designs right now that's just amazing jerry talk to me about the background of you getting into baking in the first place does it run in your family did it start with you know that toy you know, baking set as a kid. How did you ever get started in this? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like arts and crafts. I have a lot of hobbies and just dabble in different things. And I used to watch cookie decorating videos on Instagram and thought it looked so appealing and calming. And so I was like, I'm definitely going to have to give that a try um, just because I like dabbling in different things. So yeah. I tried it um, for a going away present for some coworkers. They didn't end up turning out the best, but it was a lot of fun. And so I thought I'd continue and really enjoyed it. You make so many cookies and you make these amazing designs. We just saw that Orca cookie right there. But Jerry and I got to ask you, what is your favorite cookie of all time? Um, I would say my favorite cookie of all time. I really love snickerdoodles. Oh, yes. Good <laughs> choice. It's Yes. It's not a sugar cookie, but you can make snicker, or snickerdoodle sugar cookies, so I guess that sort of counts. Oh, there you go. There you go. What is your favorite part about doing this competition? Was, was it hard to even audition for this competition? How did that work out? Yeah, so it was crazy. Um, I actually last Christmas told my mother-in-law asked if I would ever be on the show because yeah. we were watching it, and I said no way. I was like, I'm never <laughs> doing that. It's too much pressure. Um, you need to know all these different recipes. And then all of a sudden in January, Food Network reached out to me asking me to apply, um, and it was a long application process. But after it, I was definitely glad that I did it. Um, we we filmed over three days, and I met a lot of great friends and baking competitors along the way. Yeah, tell, talk to me about the like your experience on that show. I mean, you're already an accomplished baker. The cookies look amazing, but is there something from the show that you took away from that? Like, did you learn something new? Yeah, I think, I think what I learned, because I thought I would never do it, I would never go on it, I think what I learned is there's always an opportunity to learn new things and get out there and just put yourself out there and it's not gonna hurt anything. So just giving something a chance and, and trying whatever you put your mind to. I will never be as good as a cookie maker as you, just based on the designs and how they look like. But just in case we do, and people want to aspire to do that, you know, we are in the season of baking, if you will, we're approaching the holidays, right? So, you know, what are some of the top tips for, you know, instead of just cutting that, you know, that, that cookie dough from the can and just putting it into the oven like I do, <laughs> like what are some things that just, just to get us started to maybe just expand our design capabilities? <laughs> yeah, I mean, a lot of when you're decorating sugar cookies for the holidays, um, a lot of it is based on consistency of your icing. Um, so mm. we have thinner icings and thicker icings. So usually a good technique for starting out and doing sugar cookies is putting a thicker line around the outside and then doing what we call a thinner flood on the inside to, to keep the icing on the middle instead of 
having it fall off the edge. So in other words, like when you were coloring back when you were a kid, you would like highlight or really darken the outer edges. Is that what you're talking yep. about? Kind of doing that <laughs> and then just kind of like lighting thing. it in the middle, kind of like that. Is that what you're talking yep. about? Oh. Yep, just like that. Stay okay. inside the lines. <laughs> <laughs> Stay inside the lines. Before I let you go, what was your first cookie? What was the first cookie that you ever made? Uh, it was an emoji cookie that ended up looking like an egg yolk. <laughs> <laughs> It's crazy. Well, look how far you've become. I mean, you, you've, you've gone a long way. Uh, that's great. Jerry and uh, Bone, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, it's been a thank pleasure to you. talk with you. Best of luck on the baking and best of luck on the show as well. We appreciate it. Thank you.